to be printing with a uh, rubber fish. The Japanese use a real fish, but we're using a rubber fish. And I've got my three primary colors here that are made from temper paint. I've also got a paintbrush and I've got a little thing of water. So before I start painting, I wanna make sure my paper's ready. So I'm going to write my first and my last name on my paper and our, what's my hour? And my table number. What are those three things? Okay, and then my paper is gonna go on this clean piece of paper here, which is my clean area. This is called my dirty area. And my partner, who you will meet shortly, is going to be in charge of holding my clean paper. So, I've got everything I need, and I am dipping and flipping my brush in my clean water just to make sure it's clean. And I'm gonna start by dipping and flipping into the yellow. I'm gonna put yellow generously, kind of down the middle of the fish. Generously means kind of thick. Then I'm gonna dip and flip into my red. I'm gonna mix the red into the yellow, but not all of it, and that's gonna give me, that's right, orange. Then I'm going to swishy swish my brush, not go into the sink, dip and flip into the blue, not very much blue though, because blue is very powerful. I'm gonna mix that in, okay, swish. Then I'm gonna dip in the blue and the red, and that's gonna give me purple. Put some purple down there. And you'll notice that I did not overbrush this, okay? So now, I'm gonna put it on my clean paper, right here. And now comes the job of my clean person. Hi, I'm Mrs. Mertz's face partner. My job is to handle the paper and help it get to the dry rack and keep it clean. So now I'm my clean person and my hands are clean and I'm going to put the paper on top of the fish and I'm going to massage it, rubbing the sides, the top, okay? Making sure you rub it really good. Working your way up the fish. Getting the edges. Don't let it slip around. And if you wanna, you know, if you wanna do this to your own paper, cause you know, you're like, I don't know. That's fine, you can. But definitely the next step, you want your clean person to do. Okay, so now the next step is to pull it off. And there is my print of my fish. And now, I want to take it to the dry rack. And the dry rack is loaded from the bottom to the top. So two go here, two go here, so on and so forth. Then, back at my area, now it's my clean person's time to do the same thing to the fish that I just did. So now it's their turn. I'm gonna clean my hands and handle their paper, getting it to the dry rack, while they paint the fish. We're not washing the fish, we're just gonna paint right where I left off. 